Thursday the 24th of June, I do believe, 2021. General chit chat with whoever comes on air, to be honest. Um, this is some of the old boys. I'm there from, um, I know from Steve down in Foxhole for a little while. Um, haven't heard from Rodney. I've heard from any of them boys for a little while. They're chasing the DX, see, they're serious DX hunters, which is fair enough. But channel's gone a bit quiet, a bit odd, really. So we'll just see what happens. See what happens here. Film crew's all set up, as you can see. We're ready to rock and roll. Just waiting to see if Steve comes in, really. He will do in a minute. Now Steve, which is Charlie Bravo 8826, a uh, Charlie Bravo 88. He's gonna be filming the other end tonight. So we'll have the Westland on this end. I think I might have popped the speaker in it, but we're about to see. I put it on an external speaker. Because I was listening hard today, people. Listening hard today. Oof, trying to get those contacts. I wasn't, I was just listening. But I've had the volume flat out, so I might have, might have done the speaker. Gary, you on side, mate? Yep, yep, good evening, Dave. How you doing, fella? Hello. I do, and you've got a much better copy now. I've got to sit back or I get feedback. it now is that you go back onto the radio you were on before. <laughs> well, ideal. And Steve, no one cares about the video quality as long as we've got some more audio. That's all that matters. See, you still sound messy there to me. No, I still can't make you out very well, dude. What, what have you gone back to? Alright, you're getting better. It's getting better. Maybe it needs to warm up or something. It shouldn't do, though, should it, Steve? Do a sniff around a minute, Steve. Absolutely fucking perfect. Oh, that's alright then. Yeah, I've checked the SWR, uh, well, it's 1.5, it's a bit higher than I normally have, for whatever reason, but um, it's still reasonable, isn't it, 1.5? Yeah, you can live with that in short transmission, it'd be fine. <laughs> Anyway, much. Lots and lots and lots of gardening this week. And Mrs. has had me busy as hell. My boss is away doing a fairground at the moment because he does fairgrounds as well as the sound booths and that. So he just said, do your thing and I'll sort you out, mate. That's alright then. Well, I'll 
you know, I just started a new bloody site today. The um, been down to the hall for Cornwall Troy. Oh yeah, what's that like? Uh, shit, for want of a better word. <laughs> Explain. Um, it's just a mad rush, really. There's um people everywhere, building materials everywhere and they want it done in the next five weeks, but I reckon if they gave you five months, they'd still be pushing it. Really that far behind? Yeah, it's been going on for more than three years. Uh, I mean, it's a big job, obviously, but yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not the best there, put it that way. Yeah, it's complete revamp, isn't it? They're doing the whole building top to bottom, aren't they? Yeah, they've had bloody JCBs inside digging it down and because um, it's near the near the river there and the key and all that. Intro. Well, actually, it used to be a key actually. Um, it was Lemon well, Lemon Key. You should know by the name. Um, yeah, so they were digging down and every time the tide came in on the river, um, the bloody hole was filling up in the in the bloody building. Nice. How did they deal with that then? Um, thousands of tons of concrete, I believe. Only Ada. So they just made a concrete basket that sits in the bottom, I suppose, keeps the water out. Yeah, I believe so, something like that. Um, it'd be good when it's finished, good to go and see a, a band or something, because like, the stage is in the bottom of the, the pit, if you want to call it that. And all the seating um, pretty much goes the whole way around. But, um, it goes right the way up, so it's quite steep the seating. But you get a really wherever you sit, you're going to get a really good view. So what have you got to do? Plumb the whole building with your mates? Yeah, well they've been there for a couple of years anyway already. Um, I've just been lucky to escape it. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're just fitting, like doing all the second fix work now, like putting all the bathrooms in and, you know, radiators and air conditioning and ventilation and all that kind of stuff. You do ventilation as well? Uh, not me personally, but, you know, people within our company do, yeah. Oh, I do, I do. All right, we'll take it back to Steve there, mate. I'll leave Steve out, he's recording, and I know he wants to get some chatter on here. Yeah, right Steve, how are you mate? You alright tonight? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know if we want to go up a couple, because that's why I've been about now. Yeah, well, what do you want to do? Um, Copy, 
Toppy. Yeah, got you bang on. Which radio are you on tonight, Gary? Westland, Steve. scratchy tonight as well. I was going to try the TriStar out. Well, I don't know what it is, that. Is that a free band, low mid eye? Um, on that one. Or has it got more bands than that? I think it's a free band, isn't it? With low mid and high on it. Yeah, it's same as a Ham International 2, basically. Same radio. Take it back to Dave and I'll see what I can do. Yeah, okay then, mate. So, uh, not so good down Truro then, Dave, today, eh? Right. This should be easier. I'm trying to do this on the camera. It's a big twiggly lead, which is a fucking antenna, which is so tight because I always make sure it's tight. Do the big twiggly lead. Plug. Double plug lead. It's always so fucking tight in this radio. Um, I just noticed it's got a seal on the side of it. What's that, Steve? Original seal. Mmm, someone's had it off. Anyway, <clears throat> right. Put that one over there. Yes, I have the TriStar to hand. goes. Well I know it's a nice radio, it's got a bit of smudge scratch on the top of it, not bothered, no one cares. Push the power, twiddle the knobs, where did they say they were? Anyway, power, this one. 52. Hang on. Bit dirty. Right, okay. Where are we at? 52 should be the triple five. It is the triple five. FM, uh, where are they? Where did they send you yet? It's going to. It's going to say. This one? Right. Where did they say they were? Uh, 298, yeah, 985. It's going to go all the way to the end of the band, then it and drop off. doesn't get there, Steve was right. How does it go there? Let's just think about this for a second. Goes four, six, okay, all the top. Flip it. Can I go the other way? The wrong one. Yeah, it doesn't go there. Fucking okay. bollocks, that's bollocks, isn't it? Hmm. Where does it go? 827855. Five. Oh, bad. Let's go to 7073 on FM. Um, It doesn't go that way. Okay, I need to play with this one a little bit more. It's got to something else. Tell you what. 
the lead for. Where do I put the lead for that? Is it? Hmm, no. Yeah, no, 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 no. Right, I found the lead for the Midland. Remember me and Steve had a conversation about a lead for the Midland, and I was like, oh yeah. Well, I found that lead. For the Midlands? And where the fuck did I put it? No one knows. No, do oh, you know what? Let's just plug the rest of back in. Oh, we didn't work. said it goes as you knew it would do anyway. Oh, 
ideal. That'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. Um, what are you going to do? Bung that straight up. You copying me on this one? I can hear the skip better on this one on the side there. The Ham International Jumbo. I do, I do. Any footage is, is a bonus, to be honest. Um, that's why I like Dave's footage. He always gets good footage, don't you, Dave? Uh, yeah, hold on, mate. This is just coming. Okay. Yeah, I'll just get the footage. Steve, um, so what did you say? You're gonna, you are gonna edit it, yeah? Thank 
coffee on it. Um, I won't be able to transfer it by the normal route, but I know how to. I just, just need an email, the current one, really, and I can send you any size file then, mate. Yeah, I can give you a current email, fella. That's not a problem at all. Um, I'll put it in the link of uh, the video I'm going to do because I'm not going to edit this. I'm at about 24 odd minutes as well, you know. It's got you on it, but there is a bit of crackle. There's definitely some some uh, frequency noise there in the background, you know, with, with whoever and wherever they are. So, but you're cracking in as normal cracking in. Let's see if Dave's back in a minute. I want to get Dave on here. We haven't heard from Brucey either, but he's probably lost us now, isn't he? Yeah, I'm back, mate. Yeah, the wife just poked her head through the door to tell me something. Um, yeah, I bumped into a mate today when I was at the Hall for Cornwall, and um, was chatting about a reach to him, so I knew that he had one for sale on um, Facebook Marketplace. You've mm. probably seen it. It's been on there ages. It's uh, some, some meat. AM, he said it's an AM rig, but I think it's FM. Um, it's obviously had a mod to it, done to it, because he's got a, like a toggle switch on the front. Um, mm -hmm. So I was chatting about rigs with him, and he said that, you know, back in the day, he used to be on and all this sort of stuff. He said, oh, I've got a box somewhere. He goes, I think there's about eight rigs in there. So he's going to fish it out and take some pictures and stuff and hopefully bring it in tomorrow for me to have a look at. So I might possibly have some more rigs coming. Um, you couldn't remember what they were, but hopefully there might be something of interest in there. Yeah. Where's the bloody mic? What am I using? Oh, yeah, they have. Yeah, man, that's the sort of box you want. That is definitely the sort of box you want. You want the box that, um, you know, has uh, been hidden away in someone's attic for a while. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and it, he's the kind of bloke, he, he doesn't buy... You know, rubbish, you'll buy good stuff. So, mm. I'm hoping there might be a couple of little gems in there, possibly. But um, he can't remember what's in there because it's been that long since he's, you know, properly had a look at them. So, hopefully tomorrow I might know. Ooh, well, if there's anything interesting that you don't want to hold on to, you know where it's going. Um, yeah, that's how I found my Amstrad, though. The dude was advertising, I can't remember what he was advertising, a little Midland handheld with no mic on it. And I just put in the, in the message, look, if you've got anything else, I'll buy it all. And he went, yeah, I've got a box and a loft, no idea what's in it. And there's a bloody Amstrad 901 in it, two Midlands, all sorts, all sorts. And he was like, I don't even remember buying any of this stuff, two antennas, the works. So that's always a good find. Yeah, he said he had three, but he hasn't got many more. He said he, he remembers selling them. He had three Midlands, like these handheld things. He goes, you know, absolutely immaculate. Yeah. One was still in the box. I don't think it had been, even been out of the box. Um, oh, but, yeah, he said he sold them, you know, the several case. years back. He must have come across them and got rid of them. But, um, yeah, it would have been interesting to see. But i say hopefully tomorrow. In fact, he... He has got a rig in his, um, he's got a, what's he got, a Volkswagen camper van. And he goes to these, like, Volkswagen meetings, and he said he's bought oh, a nice. modern, a modern rig. He's got a, he's got a K40 antenna, I think he said. Oh, yeah. Um, on the top. Um, apparently when the, all these people get together, they just chat on air, so he said he just bought one just to, well, basically earwig and stuff, but um, yeah, he's quite interested to be able to go on there on 37 and stuff, he said he's going to come on and see if, you know, if he can pick anybody up, but um, he lives just outside of Lou, so I'd, I'd be surprised if uh, any of us could pick him up. Well, Andy's East Tap House, that's, that's near enough, Lou, isn't it? Yeah, I did say that to him. Um, yeah, it's out that way, but I think, you know, Lou's a good bit on from East Tap House, I think. But, well, you never know, conditions might be right, and 
he's, he's up quite high as well, so he might do. You never know. Yeah, I think I I spoke to Brussels today on the Fox mic. I think I spoke to them. All right. Yeah. Yeah, it was a bit of a uh, stuff coming in today. I noticed from the, when I was coming home. <clears throat> quite a lot of activity. Yeah, I was uh, channel checking. I was just like hopping around on the channels on the Westland, seeing what channel where I was, writing down the fucking frequency, and then. Looking at the charts to see where it was on the on what channel where blah blah blah, and then I I, I Roger bleeped a couple of times to read the frequency, and this dude shouted out, "Yeah, hello, Roger bleep," and it was from Brussels. I was quite chuffed with that, really. <coughs> yeah, that's no, good, mate. It's all good. Yeah, don't know um, if Bruce on the side there. Is he listening or no? We're a few channels away from Bruce tonight, aren't we? Oh, of course we are, yeah, he's not going to pick us up, is he? Uh, unless he's scanning around, I don't know. Roger might find us. Anybody else on side there? What do I sound like to you on this, Dave? Uh, not bad, mate. I am actually doing you a video, so... Hmm. Um, I'll send it across in a while. I'm just letting the video run, to be honest. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, half an hour in, and I've jumped from the Westland to the to the Ham Jumbo. Do you know, I, I like that Westland, but these these big rigs, these these big boxes, they look freaking awesome. And this Ham, do you know, what I mean, it makes me miss my Colt, but the Colt's very very poorly. Yeah, it'll get it fixed. Um, I might spin out to your on Sunday and have a look. Yeah, can do. Yeah, can do. Give us a shout, mate. Just um, let me know. Let me know. Um, question. You know my old Colt. Did it have a Roger bleep? Uh, I can't remember, mate. To be honest, Steve might remember. I think the gold one did. I think I may may be wrong. I have to look back on some of the videos. You got, you had the gold one and the silver one, didn't you? Yeah, the gold one never made it on air, but the silver one did, and it's got a, a high gain five Roger bleep board in it. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's basically what's in the, uh, well, the bleep in the in the rig, um, the Westlands, basically a high gain five bleep, and not quite the. Long in time, but very, very similar. I don't remember the Colt having a bleep. <clears throat> you got me wondering now. I'll have to, you'll have to look back on the videos. Mind you, you it wouldn't transmit. Well, you wouldn't realise on when on the transmit on that, but. Um, You might, well, you're not, you're not really zoomed in on the meter, so you won't know whether when you DK, whether the meter's dropping straight back or is a bit of a pause, but I can't remember, Gary, mm. and um, <laughs> I don't know whether Dave's got video footage of you on that one, or recording of receiving you on that one, that'd be the way to tell, because um, there's no... <laughs> There's no recordings of you in circulation, is there really? I know uh, Dave's done one or two and sent to you, but they've only been like short snippets of bits, haven't it? But oh, I dare say Dave won't remember which rig he was on anyway at the time. But like I say, I'll get this sorted this end and uh, I'll be doing a bit more then and we can hear what they do sound like then. But this is a bit of a trial run, I'm not going to guarantee it's be brilliant, but... I'll doctor it up a bit, but I don't want to deter from what the rigs are sounding like. I can yeah. doctor it all up and get I don't, it good, but I don't doctor any I of the think sounds. you're going to get it all warts and all this evening, because there's a lot of noise, as you say, interference, crackle and pop coming, and get, you'll get a true definition of how your arse actually sounding here. It's no good me sort of doctoring it up and yeah. taking the, the noise out of it, as it won't, uh, you won't hear what it's like. 
like that. Anyway, um, I'm going to see if I can get back online because I don't know whether I'm going to get back online yet. I'll need to click a few buttons and try and connect again. I'd imagine his, his electric has dropped or his rev has dropped and he probably ain't realised but I'm going to have to try and connect again else I wouldn't be able to send anything anywhere. Yeah, I don't edit any of my videos sound-wise. I, I might cut bits out there and there where I don't want to obviously spill out bits of conversation that do not need to be public. Um, but yeah, apart from that, the sound is raw as fuck. You, what, what you hear is what I hear, you know? Copy, copy that, yeah. Um, all right, yeah, just I'll send you my email address when we're done here, and um, we'll get something sorted, Steve. But to be honest, you can just keep it for your own ends. There's no rush to get it up, mate. I'm in no rush to see it, you know. <coughs> Excuse me, when it's up, it's up. They, you know, don't don't panic. I'd rather you did it all at your end, at your pace, mate. You know, there's no pressure. I, you know, it's, it's all for your own channel, fella. got as early a starts as you have been. Yeah, yeah, that's just standard for me, mate. Um, I'm out the door for, I don't know, 20 to 7, well, I'm in the van, 20 to 7, so yeah, I'm always early. Yeah, it's early enough, isn't it? Early enough. Yeah, I mean, you get used to it. I've been doing it for bloody, what, how many, I don't know, 30 
Odd years, I yeah, I've been trying not to spend so many dark evenings in here. Um, trying to get my head down early, getting up earlier and doing more in the day. And then I've got more energy to sit around and do a little bit in the day. You know, if I get an hour during the day, I'll come and sit in here and listen to the, to the skip come in or listen to nothing. Whichever the case may be. Wanted to be at work this week, really, but, you know, pain in the ass is normal. Yeah, what were you doing with your um, RC the other day, uh, yesterday then, what were you, what were you doing? <laughs> Beating it to death, dude. We took them both out to break them, he's got the same truck as mine, but standard. Um, I've spent a fortune on mine, it was no better than his, as you could see. But awesome, mate, you want to, you, if you want to come out, dude, you need to come out and have a play, you, you laugh your tits off, it's funny. Yeah, sure, mate, yeah, I'd love that. Um, yeah, I'll find a... Saturday or Sunday, whatever, sometime, and we'll have a play. Yeah, it's more of a walk. We must have walked about two or three miles with these things, and you just follow them and just go wherever you can. And then we ended up at a lake, and what well, you've seen. So I've got the, the I've got the landy, and I've got the monster truck, which I failed to break yet. So I'm sure you can come and help me break one of them. Well, I'll have a go if that's what you want to do. <laughs> It's your stuff, mate. If you want to break it, you can try. Yeah, it's kind of the it's kind of the written thing that every time you take an RC out, it breaks. But the battery didn't even run out this time, so I don't know. You know, we literally did. I think it said 2.7 miles on my watch or something. I'd walked, and we used the batteries all the way from the car, all the way to the all the way back to the car. One battery. We were well impressed. No, good going that, mate. So you're getting on all right with the watch, then, are you? I think it's... Is that the watch you got off me? Mm. Yeah, like the watch. Doesn't come off me, I like it. It's good. All the money I've spent on other watches, and now I don't take this one off. I haven't worn any of the others. Have you downloaded more faces and stuff for it, then, or have you just got no. the ones that are on there? Just the one on there. Bog standard, mate. Just bog standard, I just got a bog standard face on there, mate. I don't need anything fancy, it's a watch. Yeah, you get some good ones on there, though. I forget what the, um, it's like some website or something where, you know, these people design different things. There's bloody thousands of them. Some really good, good ones, like, look like Rolexes and well, all sorts of stuff. Um, that's what I liked about that watch. It's not, I mean, in respect, it's, it's better um, for downloading, you know, watch faces and stuff than the one I've got now, the the Apple Watch. But um, yeah, it's a good watch that one. Yeah, yeah, mate, I'm well impressed. Well impressed. I bought a screen protector thing for it as well, so I've got like a. A silicon rubber protector for it, and yeah, I just uh, it's waterproof. Not that I wear, I don't wear it in a bath or nothing like that, you know. But you know, I don't worry. I don't worry about it. Decent watch. I bought a, di a different strap for it. It's on a camo strap now instead of a a plain black strap. So yeah, it's looking pretty trick. I love it. I bloody love it. Oh, good mate. It's better than uh, just being. In the bloody box, me not using it. Hmm. So yeah, well, it's gone to a good home then. What about your vape thing? Did you get on with that or, or not? Hmm. Did you not get on with it very well? <coughs> During the day, I I get on with it. It works beautifully, but over night time, it just doesn't cut it. Yeah, know what you mean. I'm the same. I mean, my one, you know, it's expensive, wasn't it? But um, yeah, sometimes you. Can't beat the old-fashioned method, shall we say? Mm -hmm. Amen to that. Oh, what's his name? Jar Jar Rastafari, my friend. Yeah, copy that, mate. Copy that. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna go for a piss a minute. I'll um, I'll be back in a second. Um, 
Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, just wanted to. Steve talking to his cat. So it's a bit noisy on our standard channel tonight. So we skipped up a couple of channels. Uh, Westland to start with. Oh, I love that radio. I love that radio. I know you're watching, Paul. I love that radio, Paul. Bloody loves that radio. I don't mind the chat back. I don't mind the echo. I don't mind any of it. I think that is... It just, just jumped a couple of spaces up to my number two spot because my Ham International... It's still my baby. I still, you know, the Ham International, it's just so ingrained up here. The Ham International is the bollocks to me. I don't care. I don't care. I love the Ham International. Anyway, I couldn't get the TriStar to go where I wanted it to go. Shit happens. Uh, we'll work another night where it go. We'll take it to where it does go. We'll see what it sounds like. As you can see... Steve's recording me as well, so we're going to get some feedback. You'll be able to go to Steve's channel, which is 26 Charlie Bravo 88. That is 26 Charlie Bravo 88. Okay, that's Steve's channel, who we'll be talking to tonight. He's going to have a video up at some point, which is the other end of the conversation. So you'll see what the Western sounds like. We'll see that ham sounds like. I'm running out of breath, so I'm going to call it a night. I love you all. 73s and goodbye.